Thank you everyone for joining us. We're going to show you a C to C or corner to corner tutorial using our candy cane throw pattern. You can find our candy cane throw pattern on our blog. It's the November blog exclusive. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to start your C to C afghan or throw. We're gonna show you how to change color at the end of a row, and then we're gonna show you how to decrease. Begin with a slip stitch. Insert your hook and make sure that your yarn can move up and down the hook freely. You're gonna chain six. And then you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Double crochet into the next two chains. And your first beginning block is made. To start your second row, you're going to turn so that the turning chain is facing up. And then you're going to chain six. So if you noticed, I um, put my finger on the fourth chain from the hook. Um, it's the third chain you make. So you're going to double crochet into that third chain. And in the next two chains. your second block is made. Then you're going to do a slip stitch into the turning chain space of the previous block. Chain three, and double crochet into the same turning chain space. And do that two more times. and your second row is complete. Starting the third row, we are going to turn, so our chaining, turning chain space is facing up. We're going to chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. double crochet into the next two chains. Slip stitch into the next turning chain space and chain three. Double crochet into the same turning chain space and do that two more times. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next turning chain space. 
chain three, double crochet into the same turning chain space, and row three is complete. If you're following along on this pattern, what we suggest is that you complete three more rows and then skip ahead to the decreasing tutorial. Right now, we're gonna show you how to um, change colors at the end of a row. This is something that you find in the candy cane throw pattern. So this here is um, where we did a color change. I'm going to back it up and show you how we accomplish this. Pull that out a bit. So, okay, if you look here, you've got your turning chain, and then you have two double crochets. So we need one more to finish the block. Now, if you weren't changing colors, Right here, you would yarn over and pull through the red. But since we are changing colors at the end of this row, we're gonna grab our new color and simply yarn over with the new color. Now, when you're done, make sure this is taut, not too tight. Um, some people like to tie their ends right there and then they'll weave them in later. Um, that's another thing you can do. I like to tie them after I've done the row. Just in case I have any mistakes, I can go back and retie it and I don't have any cut ends. Um, so that's just my personal preference. At this point in the pattern, you're going to turn your work. Again, making sure that the chaining space is facing up. Make sure you grab the right end of your white yarn and you're gonna chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then double crochet into the next two chains. slip stitch into the previous uh, chaining space. I'm sorry, slip stitch into the chain slip stitch into the chaining space of your previous block. Chain three, make your next block. And your next block is me. So you've got your beginning block and then your next block. Next we're going to show you how to decrease in a corner to corner or C to C technique. Okay so we worked six rows of our little test swatch. There's a couple of fun things to notice about C to C, or corner to corner. Row one has one block, row two has two blocks, three, three blocks, and so on and so forth. So if we're making a square, we're going to decrease on both sides so both are even. If we're making a rectangle, one side will have a beginning block because that side you want to grow, and one side won't. One side will just uh, stay the same and you'll be working up. In our candy cane pattern, we begin decreasing on row 44. Only even rows will be decreasing, and only odd rows will have a beginning block. So let me back up so you can see where we leave off. Okay, so we've got our turning chain space, our first double crochet, second, so we need to do one more double crochet, and then we turn 
so the turning chain is facing up. Next, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next double crochets. And then a slip stitch into the turning chain space. If you are changing color here, you will draw through the new color at this point. Okay, so you'll draw through the new color here. But we're not turning, we're not changing colors. So we're just going to do a regular old uh, slip stitch. Here you chain three because we're not building a block. Do two more double crochets. That's what the next block looks like. So you've got this nice straight edge. Especially when you do your slip stitch into the next turning chain. So you see how that works up. We'll be right back to show you how to work the next one. Okay, so where we left off, Instead of um, adding another building block here, we worked over and over and down, okay? We're increasing along the length and not the width. We built a beginning block here and worked back up. So this, because we don't want to increase up, we're going to work back and then back down. So let me show you where we're at. This is where we left off. Do a slip stitch into the turning chain, turn, and then you're going to do a slip stitch to the next three DCs or double crochets. Okay, so now we have our turning chain. You're going to do a slip stitch in the turning chain. If we were changing colors, instead of pulling, yarning over and pulling through with pink, we would pull through with the new color. Okay, so our turning chain is facing up. We chain three. And then we're going to DC into the same turning chain space. Slip stitch within the turning chain space. And you see how we are growing our length and not our width. You're going to continue working in this manner until you reach the length you desire. And then what you're going to do is you're going to decrease on both sides and continue in that manner until you have one block left. Thank you for joining us on the C2C tutorial or corner to corner tutorial. Make sure to stop by our blog, blog.marymaxim.com and download this pattern before you get started. Stay tuned for more great tutorials, yarn reviews and other techniques. Uh, right now we are doing a winter crochet along on our Facebook with um, Eclair Makery. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!